What's going on guys? It's Erica with Not Your Average EDC and today we are going to have a discussion about knife reviews, knife reviewers. Um, we're just going to kind of talk about that a little bit. This might be kind of like a ranty video, like I'm not going to be showing a whole bunch of stuff in it, so this is one of those videos where you can sit back, grab a drink, grab a snack. You're mostly going to be listening to my words if you even do listen, not much to see on the screen. But um, yeah, this is something that I'm really passionate about and I really want to talk about because I think it's becoming an issue in the entire world, but especially the, the knife community. Um, knife reviews and knife reviewers just being completely full of fucking shit. Um, oh, a couple months ago, a custom knife maker, his name is like BP Customs, Brandon Park customs or something like that seems like a great guy um he makes custom fixed blade knives that are like really nice he reached out to me and he said hey um i would love to send you a knife uh you know no charge and i want you to test it would you be interested and i was like oh absolutely like your work looks great i've never used it before it's kind of unique um like i'd be down to test it and i get these messages all the time from custom makers uh knife companies all that stuff and for the most part, I'll pass up their stuff. Like, there are a handful of companies that I've said yes to. Like, like three, maybe, or something. Um, it's That's not really something I'm interested in, for the most part. But this guy seemed cool. He seems like he makes, you know, nice knives. And um, I've heard a lot of good things about him. So I, I was like, yeah, sure, I will absolutely do that. And then his next message was something along the lines of, like, all right, awesome. As soon as I get it back from Bearded Gear, I will send it your way for review. And immediately I was like, oh, hell fucking no. Are you nuts? If he's reviewed it first, I want nothing to do with it. Ew. And that's what I said. I was like, oh, uh, just kidding. I want literally nothing to do with that if he has had it through his hands. Um, now you may be thinking, what's wrong with Jake? What's wrong with Bearded Gear? He's got tons of sus subscribers. He does reviews all the time. Uh, seems like a great guy. You know, what's up? Um, this is not going to be a shit-talking video per se, but it is going to be a truthful video. The reason I said I wanted nothing to do with that knife after he has had it is because, in my opinion, reviewers like him are fake. None of that is real life. Um, when you make literally zero sense, zero logical sense on your channel, and you get, like, metric fuck tons of free shit that you review without even using it, I have, I have no trust in you and I don't respect you. I, or I don't respect your, I don't respect the content that you're putting out. It's not necessarily like I don't respect you as a human because I, I don't know you, but the content that you're presenting to YouTube, I don't give a fuck about and I don't respect I, because it's not real. Um, there are so many things that that channel in particular, there's so many things that he has done that um, make me not trust him. For example, um, the Indela review that he did. The caption is, Indela... Spyderco and Della, K390, full review. That's what the title is. Now, I watched this whole goddamn ridiculous video um, just, just to get some info on this guy, right? And reviewers like him. It's not just him, but he's a, he's a great fucking example. Um, he did a full review on a K390 and Della that a friend sent him. And literally halfway through the review, where, by the way, he's shitting on it for the most part because he doesn't like FRN and it's not fidgety enough and blah, blah, blah. He goes, I, ha I didn't use it. Like, I didn't really use it, you know? Like, I, you know, got it in hand and I played around with it a little bit and I opened, like, an Amazon package. And, you know, I, I, didn't, I didn't hard use it. I didn't, I didn't use it. But I can tell you right now, this thing, you know, it, it's, there are better knives out there in K390 and the Indela and the Backlog and the blah, blah and the FRN. And he's just, like, being a little bitch, right? Like, just completely, like, I didn't even use it, but this sucks. Like, wh are you nuts? You didn't even use this knife. You literally just said you didn't use it. How are you doing a full review on a knife that you didn't use, bro? Are you... <laughs> So I was, like, livid. I was taking a shower when I was listening to the video, and I was, like, livid in the shower, like, viciously scrubbing my hair, like, fuck, this is why I hate knife reviewers. Um, <laughs> I think it's just ridiculous. You cannot review a knife if you haven't used it. And even if you've used it a few times to open a package and, op and cut an apple and, and, and slice some tape, guys, 
That's not a review. That's an overview. That's a first impressions. That's not a review. Stop calling it a review. You have no idea how this performs. And Fidget Factor should genuinely not be a part of this. And that's, like, what this dude is obsessed with. He's obsessed with, like, fidgety, flippy knives. Like, that's what he does with his knives. And he admits that. But it's just, like... Like, I understand that that's uh, uh, a an interest point for some people. But, like, I just... I will never understand why that's so prominent in a fucking review. But anyway... So, um, that's just, like, one example of why I don't, you know, trust him, trust his reviews, and why I want nothing to do with him. And then, like, another prime example is, like, he's a, re he's a YouTuber, he's a reviewer, and he, like, designed the, what the fuck was that called? Luft Concepts Avant. Which, by the way, yes, I have handled, yes, I have had my hands on it, yes, I have thoroughly examined it, it's a piece of fucking shit made in China. Literal piece of shit that gets delivered to you most of the time, not even locking up, not even close to centered, pivot falling out, piece of fucking shit, overpriced. Like, you will not change my mind, and yes, this is vicious, but it's also truthful. I handled one out of the package that the pivot was falling out of, and it was so off-center, and I have literally... I opened it up and it's like not even engaging. The lock is like not even engaging fully. You're not an engineer. You're not a designer. Stop making knives. Get some education first. Handling a th 1,200 knives on your YouTube channel does not make you a knife designer. Does not make you an engineer. And like, cool, if you want to contribute to a design that an actual engineer or knife designer or knife maker makes, like, great. But like, Drawing something up and then sending it over to China to have them make it for, like, $300 is hilarious to me. Your knife's a piece of shit. So, um, I just, like, don't trust the guy, and I don't trust a lot of knife reviewers like that. Um, and so I told, back to the original part of the story, I told this Brandon dude, I was like, yeah, no, I want nothing to do with that. Um, you know, that... That guy, Jake, seems kind of, like, hilarious to me. Um, so if he reviews anything first, I want nothing to do with it because my reviews are, like, realistic after, like, real recorded use. And I just want nothing to do with people like that. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to pass up your offer. And uh, Brandon was really nice, and he was like, hey, you know what? Um... I totally get it. I had no idea he was like that. And I mentioned the Avant thing to him, too. I was like, he, you know, this guy's just hilarious. Uh, so he's going to make a, a new model, a new knife. And when he does, he'll send it to me. And I'll be the first one to actually test it and review it. So, like, that I'm down with. Um, and he totally understood where I was coming from. But I just, I just wanted to drive home how important it is to watch channels and reviewers that actually use their knives. Uh, for example, James Harris from Junkyard Fox, he has a pretty big channel, so he's doing fantastic. But, like, he just posted a review last night of a Kephart knife that he tested for eight months before putting content out on it. Gutting fish, um, you know, fires, camp cooking, recorded all of it. Eight months before he put out the review. Now, that's real fucking shit, guys. That's real life. And the reason this ties into my channel and stuff is because somebody just left a comment on my Native 5, my Spy 27 Native 5 review. Somebody just left a comment, like, fucking 10 minutes ago. And they were like, I love how you went from what's the point of this steal to at the end of your review saying, why isn't this used more often? And, like, I just stared at that comment for a minute because I was like, you know, that's real life. I, I really did record that change. Because at the beginning of the testing of this knife, I had heard through the grapevine that this steel is basically S35VN. There's no difference. It's S35VN. It was created to just be S35 that's easier to sharpen, right? That's what I had, like, heard about Spy 27. Now, if I was, like, a normal reviewer who gets a knife, cuts a package, cuts an apple, and then gives a full fucking review without sharpening it, without using it, without testing it, I probably wouldn't have changed my mind. I would have come back to the table with my f 
bullshit full fucking review saying that there's nothing special about this and that it's S35VN but stamped as Spy 27, right? Like, that's what a lot of people do, guys. That's real life. That's what most people do is they're full of fucking shit and they use a knife like once and they don't even know how to sharpen. They don't even know how to do anything. And then they give you a full review on a product. And like, if I had never used it, I wouldn't have seen in real time and noticed how special Spy 27 is. Because at first, just just from hearing um, stuff about it, it seemed, I was like, why Why did Spider-Co make this? It's fucking useless. Like, what's the point? We already have enough, like, um, middle grade stainless steels. We already have enough of those. We don't need any more. Like, go make better tool steels or some shit. Um, but through, you know, an entire month of use and multiple sharpenings, I realized that Spy 27 is S30V or S35VN, but so much easier to sharpen and maintain that it's like those other steels are like a waste of my time at this point because this is the same thing yes spy 27 is the same thing but 10 times easier to sharpen i mean it takes two minutes to get back to hair popping sharp from dull and s30v and s35v and take me approximately 10 minutes to do the same thing G having them super dull getting them back to factory edge razor sharp Literally 10 minutes on one side, one to two minutes on the other side, doing the same exact thing with a 1,000 grit water stone. Would have never known that, would have never discovered and unveiled the unique properties of Spy 27 if I had never actually used it, if I had never actually sharpened it. Do you guys understand how important it is to actually use your knives if you're going to speak on them, guys? Do you get it now? You're full of shit if you hold a knife and say that it's cheap, and that you don't like it if you've never even used it. You're not allowed to do that. I don't give a fuck if you don't like plastic. I don't give a shit. Let's talk about how the knife actually performs aside from being made out of plastic. Hello? Go use it. Tell me how the steel and the blade and the geometry and the edge performs. And then come back with your fucking review and tell me how it is. Regardless of how fidgety. It is. I want to know if this is going to work as a tool for me. Right? It's important. And it's frustrating for small reviewers like me. Uh, or even decent sized reviewers like James. It's really annoying having these like big boys in the community that are fucking useless and everyone's obsessed with them. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, like, there are bigger reviewers that actually use stuff and record it. Like, Jared Neves, he, like, has set up his camera at work and actually recorded himself using stuff. Mad respect for Jared. Metal Complex is, like, a decent guy. I actually am getting along with him really well. He, he does, like, overviews and he, like, says in most of them... That, like, he didn't really use the knife. Like, somebody lent it to him to ch to check out. To check out and, and you know, say the first impressions on it. That's okay. That's okay. If you make it clear that it's an overview, that it's a first impressions, and that it's a tabletop first impression, and you're just kind of, like, looking at it and putting out your first thoughts on it, I don't mind you. Really. That's cool. Mad respect. Fuck you if you say that you did a full fucking review on a product and then you turn everyone away from it when you didn't even use it. And now what? You're gonna you're gonna design knives, aren't you? Over in China, you're gonna go have somebody in China make it for you because you're too impulsive and you can't wait five years to have somebody here in the states do it. Nah, fuck that. Anyway, guys, that's my little rant. That's why it's important to actually use your knives before you start talking, right? Especially if people trust you. If you if you respect your viewers, the people that got you to where you are now, if you actually respect these people that made you who you are, give them the respect of the truth. Give them the respect of recording and using a knife before you put out a full review on it. For the love of God, please. Okay? Go use your shit. Get some knives. Enjoy your 4th of July weekend. I will see you guys on the next video. Love you all. Even the annoying people, I love you all. <laughs> see you guys soon. Peace.